news as Gerard and I uh, sit here inside a dome and all those people that clamor for football weather and open air stadiums <laughs> and all of that nonsense. There's going to be football weather in Buffalo tomorrow. So much weather, Top Dog, <laughs> that they're having to move that football game. I believe our producer Randy said 4.30 on Monday. Steelers and Bills are going to move because Hanford, they're going to get, what, two feet of snow there in Orchard Park? Is it really football weather? Hey, guys, it is football weather. And you know, as a defensive player, Gerard, <laughs> we like that kind of weather because what that do is that make those offensive players have a hard time doing what they're trying to do. But, you know, ball, and Buffalo is just like Cleveland, guys, right? Lake effect. So we, Gerard, it, there's no telling what's going to happen and when it's going to happen as far as the weather is concerned. I agree with that, Sid, because no, you know there's not going to be any. Man. Well, you know there's not going to be any breaks on a hard out or anything <laughs> like that. So yes, from that standpoint, it slows things down tremendously for you yeah. as a defender. But I'm going to disagree with you, Top Dog. Football weather for me is 75 or 80. <laughs> <laughs> In this dome right now, it's about 68 degrees, and I think it's perfect. Hey, hey, uh, I forgot, John, that Gerard is a Cal's guy, you know. So uh, I understand that warm weather. So I'm with you, partner. <laughs> Well, it doesn't snow very much in Alabama either, Top Dog. <laughs> Speaking of slowing down, though, the Steelers are going to try to slow down Josh Allen in that offense. The weather may help. What's not going to help, Gerard, is the T.J. Watts out. Exactly. That is the heart and soul of that defense. Yeah. And as he goes, typically speaking, that's where the Steelers go as well. When he's not in, look at the record. The Steelers not as nowhere near as good of a football team, especially on the defensive side of the ball. All right, it's time now for my least favorite part of the show. We got to say goodbye to Gerard Cherry. Gerard, where?